What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Mr. Bass, and um, check the description box for the video. But uh, this video right here is uh, about a police officer from Fresno shooting an unarmed uh, male down for no reason. And it ain't got nothing to do with no race thing. And no, he was not black. Um, actually, he was a white guy. But um, when you when you watch the video, it's fucked up, man. It's really fucked up how a lot of these police officers abuse their authority. And um, I can never say I hate all police officers because I know there are some good police officers out there. And um, and I don't, I'm not going to put all of them in the same category. But it's just the ones that's out there that's abusing their authority man it's fucked up man but when you see the video it's, it's fucked up man because regardless if the guy had a mental issue or not he was unarmed man this is not the first of course it's not the first case where cops shot an unarmed man but you just get tired of seeing that shit and when you see this video man it's just it's fucked up man it's real fucked up how they told him to freeze and clearly he had nothing in his hand. They didn't even give him time to really do shit when you watch the video. And they just open up fire on him. And one thing I can't understand is someone that's an officer that who might watch this video, why the fuck when y'all shoot somebody so many fucking times do y'all always tell them put their hands behind their back? Clearly you just pretty much took this guy's life. You know, you just shot the fuck this dude. I don't give a fuck if he was he was holding a gun or not. But after you shoot somebody so many times, why do y'all insist on them, them putting their hands on behind their back? Now I know they could just jump up and start shooting. But no, nah, if they all unloaded a whole clip in their ass, I think y'all should be calling for a damn paramedics instead of talking about put your hands behind your back. I mean, how much harm could he be if you got two officers unloading their clips into one guy and then y'all go to uh, tell him put his hands behind his back. I don't see a lot of videos where they uh, shot somebody the fuck up and still put his hands behind their back in handcuffs. Like that homeless guy they shot up in the mountains, and he was a white guy still. I ain't this ain't even about no black or white thing. But still, I'm just pointing out the guy in the um, the homeless guy in the mountains. They shot him the fuck up with machine guns, and it was like about six or seven officers with machine guns shooting him with AR-15. One homeless guy because he had a pocket knife from a distance and he was homeless just trying to sleep they shot him the fuck up and still put this guy in handcuffs instead of calling the paramedics it's just go to show how fucked up a lot of these cops are and was and how fucked up in the day and age we living in right now is it's sad this shit would never change because this world don't have no really no type of order you know it's all about money and for a lot of these fucked up cops out there that's abusing their fucking authority, man, that's, that ain't cool, man. That ain't right. That ain't right. They need to have some type of organization that patrols police officers to make sure they are doing their job and not abusing it. Now, I'm not sure if they already have something like that. Uh, if they do, I don't know what they what you call them. But if not, they need to step up their game and make something happen and I feel like when a cop does something blatantly to a, a, a normal citizen at that point he he broke his oath so at that point he's no longer an officer so he should receive the same treatment as a normal citizen would for shooting a police officer he, they, they, a police officer should get the same treatment as a normal citizen. Because once he breaks the law and breaks that oath, that means no longer he's that means no, he's no longer an officer. That means he pretty much shitted on a badge and an oath that he stood for once he broke that law. And that's my thing. Because they keep giving these officers slaps on the wrist for murdering somebody blatantly, giving them paid leave in some cases, become famous. Fire them. That's all they get. You just murder somebody. I don't give a fuck your officer. But once you abuse that authority and you broke break that oath as an officer, you should get treated the same way as a normal citizen should. And I feel like that's only fair. Whether it's death sentence 
or life in jail, or whatever, you should get the same thing. You should get no slap on the wrist because you're an officer. Because at that point when you broke the law, you was no longer an officer. You pretty much shitted on the oath that you stood for. That's just my opinion. Check out the video in the description box. That's your boy, Mr. Bates.